Hello, Shane with BeTheBowTieGuy.com here. Uh, just going through this How to Wear a Bow Tie uh, article that we published a couple days ago. Essentially, I, I just wanted to make a video uh, kind of stepping through some of these outfits, just providing a little bit more insight as to, as to my rationale and to my breakdown of each outfit. Uh, just because sometimes, you know, things aren't really conveyed that well through words. So basically... Uh, you know, I'm just going to go through this article. So right from the top, basically uh, just giving some credit to the folks that helped produce it. About a month ago, I uh, asked our Instagram followers and our email list for some pictures. And, you know, hey, let's see some pictures. Anybody want to be a bow tie model? And I got a huge return. Probably like 20 or 30 people got back to me with images. Um, probably could have got it more. But we ended up really turn, uh, good turnout, and we, we basically made this post out of the community, which I loved. So I love involving the community in any way I can. So um, basically, we had one guy, his name is John. He, he ended up giving us like a good 10, or I pulled about 10 images from him because he had really good bow tie style, and it provided some really good examples to help uh, convey certain points about fashion and just style in general. And, and I want to make that point real clear because what we're about to get into you know, it, we're to do with bow tie style, but really it can be it can be uh, you know cross pollinated or put to other uses uh, as far as fashion goes because a lot of the same concepts still hold true and and I'll explain that right now actually. Um, so basically, when I break down an outfit, I I really go by two rules. You know, the rule of balance and the three way contrast rule, which I'm pretty sure I coined it, but um, it's built on a lot of other ideologies as far as fashion. Um, when it comes to fashion. It can get really complicated, you know. There's a lot of different opinions as far as what looks good, what looks bad, what colors go with what. At the end of the day, it's it's whatever you feel most comfortable in. Let's be honest. That's that's really what it is. That's that's what it is. And um, there happens to be certain uh, things that are fashionable now that weren't fashionable before. You know, just boiling it down to two rules. That's what I find to be the most uh, be the most you know, important. If you're trying to actually learn how to pick an outfit out quickly, there's, you know, just boiling out the two simple rules, I think is, is the most useful. And those two rules are, again, the rule of balance and the three-way contrast rule. Now, the rule of balance has to do with balancing very vibrant patterns with very conservative patterns, you know, a loud win, uh, window pane jacket and a uh, plaid shirt, for example, right here in my model, uh, you know, you got to balance this. This is not a balanced outfit. You have a loud, widespread uh, plaid shirt here, and then again, a loud, widespread window pane jacket. They clash. They're both doing the same thing, and you have an issue. And of course, this king of bow tie is just another a big issue of another loud pattern. There's a lot of loud going on here. Very flamboyant look. Very informal look that I wouldn't really recommend anybody do. Now that's uh, a lack of balance. Um, and then there's a three-way contrast rule when you contrast in color, pattern, and pattern density. So we go back to our no balance guy here. The pattern density of this jacket is very wide. You see, there's a lot of a lot of gap here, right? It's it's very it's very spacious. And then we have uh, color. Obviously, you have it's gray. It's neutral. And then last thing is pattern. Just the pattern itself, and it's a window pane. So you want to contrast all three. For the most optimal look and again the way i like to describe it is if you can get these both rules down you're going to look pretty good about 99 percent of the time you know of course there's going to be some one-offs um but that's pretty much it and then we have this example down here no contrast again not to say this outfit looks bad because it's not even it's not really that bad of an outfit but it doesn't have any contrast you know or very little contrast um and i'll also mention when you're putting an outfit together Really, you're putting an outfit together for the occasion. So whatever occasion you're going to, uh, that's the re that, that's, that should drive your decision as far as an outfit. If you're going to a party, really, you should be putting together a more informal look. I mean, it's a party. You're going to have a good time. You're going to have a couple drinks to make a great time. Maybe you go from one of those loud, vibrant patterns, whereas... If it's uh, you know a networking event or you work at like the Pentagon or some government facility, you want to probably stick to more of a conservative you know charcoal suit, navy suit, white shirt type of look. So that's I mean that's dressing for the occasion. Um, I'm gonna keep scrolling down here just real fast. This is gonna be the first part of a three part series. Uh, the first part has to do with suits. The second part's gonna have to do with vests, and the third part's gonna do with casual looks. So. 
gave me three different looks as far as putting together outfits, and all totaled, it'll be 99 outfits. So jumping right into the first outfit here, uh, it's going to be Mr. Mr. John from Bull and Blossom. Again, this guy has really great bow tie style through and through. Um, you know, in this particular outfit, he's wearing a uh, solid yellow, almost mustard coat, which is which is really great. You can, it's a very conservative pattern. The color isn't so conservative, but the pattern is. Now, if we're going back to our rules, the, the rule of balance, I'll stick with that one for the moment. He balances this very conservative jacket with with a more not so conservative shirt, right? This this gingham shirt here has a, a very bold pattern. I would even consider it, you know, one of the most bold patterns that you could wear for sure. So he, he balances it very nicely by adding a solid jacket. Uh, again, he also has a bow tie up here, and that's got a, uh, looks like a micro dot, polka dot, diamond point bow tie, which I freaking love, and it looks great with the jacket. Now, if we're talking, again, balance, this is balanced, right? It's it's a wide, it's a very sp spacious uh, pattern. It's not too flamboyant you could almost you can't even you can almost not even see the polka dots that's almost it's almost basically a solid it probably reads solid from a distance and and it works uh and that's balanced you know everything's balanced you got this flamboyant shirt and you got a solid color jacket it's balanced had the jacket been white like a window pane or maybe like a check or maybe like you know uh, a tweed or like a herringbone it may be a little too loud you know and then you're gonna you're gonna be more on that informal side of the fence now when I say balance, think of it like a spectrum too, right? Like there's two sides of the spectrum. There's like informal and conservative. And then your outfit for the day happens to fall in between some somewhere, you know. Um, is it closer to the conservative side of the fence or is it closer to the, the informal side of the fence? You got to really, again, figure out what your occasion is and then dress to it. Again, if you're going to work at a very conservative environment, you're going to want to wear a conservative outfit, charcoal gray, navy, uh, you know, black maybe. I don't know. I don't like black as a color personally. Just it seems too boring and a little lazy, honestly, in my opinion. But you know, if it's a more informal environment party, yellow works. I think this is a great outfit for a party. Um, and then I guess I'll stick with the contrast three three way contrast rule. Contrast in color. He does that in spades. Everything is contrasted. This is like a gold bow tie, a yellow mustard jacket, black shirt, and again a black pocket square the pocket square contrasts against the, the coat nicely done the shirt contrasts against the, the coat nicely done and the bow tie contrasts against the the shirt as well nicely done so that's color contrast and pattern all th all these articles of clothing are different patterns done and the pattern density we have very very tight pattern gingham shirt here a mi almost a micro gingham uh pattern which is very very tight and then we have the solid jacket, no pattern, so that doesn't count. If we go to the bow tie, we have a very spacious pattern micro dot, which contrasts nicely against the, uh, the the gingham there. And again, also, they both contrast nicely against the, the jacket. So the pattern density is there, and, and this overall is a great-looking outfit. And um, that's, that's pretty much it for John. I'm not going to go through too many of these just because I'm not going to make this a super long video, maybe one or two. Um, Everything's outlined in the article. I encourage you to read it, you know, digest it. Um, I don't think that you're going to get everything right away. And you, you, honestly, you might not agree with 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 some of the things I have to say. Um, it's just my opinion on style. And again, I I, I I always preach that style is is an amalgamation of many different perspectives. You know, you you listen to my opinion, you, you read on the internet, you get a different opinion, and you kind of combine them to create your own opinion about fashion. So. That's that's what I think about that. So let's see. I want to do one real quick. I like this from Karan. I'm gonna scroll down, scrolling. One one I want to look at right now is from Barnett Holston. He's a really cool guy. He lives out in D.C. near me. Uh, and in this outfit, he is rocking it right now. And I want to really highlight the green floral pants. Um, mainly because nobody really wears floral pants. I've never seen anybody except Barnett wear floral pants, and I think it's awesome. Mainly because nobody does it. And I would say, you know, through and through, this is definitely an informal look. If we're going back to that spectrum, definitely on the informal side. But it is balanced. Uh, if you'll notice, the jacket is a solid, and the pants 
are a vibrant pattern, green, very out there, right? Um, this is definitely a balanced look because of the jacket. If the jacket was more of a pattern jacket, like say the window pane or the checked, or you know, if we're scrolling around here, um, what's a good example? Like say, say he's wearing this checked jacket right here on our on Barnett. That's a pretty much, I would say, an unbalanced look. A color aside, you know, the solid it just balances. Again, it's the floral pattern. You really don't want it to go in one direction too much. So that's there. Um, if we're thinking three-way contrast rule here, this, the jacket has no pattern, uh, the shirt has no pattern, and then the bow tie has a plaid, and then the, the pants have a floral, obviously. So uh, essentially, the patterns all contrast. I Automatically, solids will contrast as far as patterns. They almost don't even count in my book as a pattern. It's just kind of like a, like a, like a neutral. Um, in this case, the pattern contrasts obviously with the solid jacket and solid uh, collar, and the pants contrast with the jacket and the shirt. So pattern contrast is there, color contrast is there, and then if we're thinking pattern density, since the, the jacket and the shirt don't have a pattern, it doesn't really matter as far as density, so that would, in my opinion would be non-applicable. And that's pretty much that look. Oh, I'll also mention, too, the, uh, the jacket is is a blue and the, the pants are green. That is an analogous color combination there. If anybody has any idea what the color wheel is or how it works, that would be considered an analogous uh, color combination. I don't expect you to know it. I barely even know the color wheel. I just kind of know it. Um, definitely something maybe you should look into. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, that's a good outfit to go with. I think, I think I'm going to go with this guy. So, we have a, an outfit from the Bowtie Enthusiast here on Instagram. Really, I, I, I really like this outfit because it's a monochromatic outfit that is done well. Uh, in this outfit, you'll see, you know, a, a solid gray shirt, a checked jacket here, and then a paisley bow tie. So, let's, let's talk balance, right? The, the shirt is solid, the jacket is loud balanced um you know three-way contrast rule colors the colors don't really oh, like I'll, I'll throw the colors in the colors are all contrasting you know you have different uh shades and and, and tonal uh and tones of of gray you have a light gray shirt a darker gray jacket a really dark bow tie they all contrast um pattern contrast solid shirt paisley bow tie check jacket check pattern density uh, the shirt doesn't have a pattern, so that's not applicable. Very, very tight checked uh, jacket, and then kind of a normal paisley, so I would say those, those contrasts as well. So again, this is a really good example of a monochromatic outfit, wearing the same color but different shades and he uh, tones. That way, it, it's, it's kind of a cool look if you're trying to you know mix and match in the same color family. I think it works really well. So that's, that's probably where I'm going to end it. I'm not going to go too much into detail here. Um, I encourage everyone to read it, and, and now that you kind of hopefully have a better understanding of how I'm looking at these outfits, and hopefully when you're looking at an outfit in your own closet, uh, my logic can, you know, transfer to you in some kind of way. That way, you know, when you're, like, picking out pieces, just think of the rule of balance and the three-way contrast rule. The rule of balance, do my loud pieces balance with my, my not-so-loud pieces? Like, do my solid shirt balances with my my, uh, you know, loud jacket. And then uh, three-way contrast rule, do my patterns all contrast? Do my, the pattern, the densities of my patterns contrast? And then do my uh, colors contrast, you know? And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this article, please share it, uh, you know, subscribe on YouTube. And uh, yeah, again, if you like it, shoot me, shoot me a comment down below and let me know what else you want me to, uh, to do for, for bow tie style. Again, it's all about the bow tie here. And, uh, and that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.